well. Hi, I'm going to do an instructional video and I don't know how long it's gonna take. I don't know how successful it's gonna be, but I'm doing an instructional video on how to fill out your form for outline chapters for one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, and chapter five. And what I'm trying to do with this is teach you, um, give you just a basic idea, and then I think you can do it. And I think it will make it a lot easier for you. Um, and I think it'll take away a lot of the confusion. It'll add some confusion, especially technological confusion, perhaps. I think in the end, it'll work though. So let's start. Let me explain the three things that I'm going to be using for this. Number one, uh, we're, we're, I created what you have in this over here, the outline, this, this um, form, I created that using pretty much straight out the format that Zanaria used in her paper because I thought, oh, this works, it's good. It's better than I, what I thought of and I, I like it, so I'm gonna do it. All right, so that is how I'm gonna do that. So what that means is that the format is gonna be pretty much what Zanaria wrote, not the content, all right? The format is brilliant and does exactly what I wanted to do. I was like, oh, okay, this, this works. But sometimes the content is not. She has graciously allowed me to use her paper. And I have all of these comments over here on the right. This tells me when she needs to change something that she did. So this is gonna be hard, but you're gonna need to look at all of those comments so that when you look at her paper and say, okay, I see the general thing that she did, check the comment to make sure that when she did it, it, would, it was the right thing. I can give you an example in a minute on that one. I have another resource that I'm gonna use. The other resource is going to be, if I can find it, here it is, this. This will be published um, on Moodle and it'll be there to, to be able to use. This is the schedule or schedule as it's currently set up um, for the paper. And you'll see when things are due. But for now, I want you to notice the content for paper, the outline for chapter one. It's on the first lecture. It's on the Wednesday lecture and on the Thursday lecture. So you've got the lecture here, Apostles, Prophets, a lecture here, Requirements, lecture here, Charisma versus Appointment. All right. So that's your first outline and your outline is going to be based on that. So that's my second resource is this chart so they know what my outline is supposed to be about. Okay. And that helps me to, to find the um, third resource, which is, let's just do this. I think that would be easier. And I'll just do this. And then I will go to drive.google.com. You have a link for this. And I'm pretty sure that you were able to get to that link without a problem. And I got to get there too. And we'll just do that. And we'll do that. And then we come to. And here are all of the PowerPoints. So this is a resource that you would use if you need to get information from the PowerPoints, which you will please get information from the PowerPoints. You're gonna go here. You can also, of course, um, go to YouTube and rewatch a lecture. And if you think that's what you need to do, which is totally fine, um, you can just find the um, you can find the playlist for it and playlist would be biblical theology of ministry. I don't want to watch it for, for pity's sake, but here is, you can find that just by doing a search CRST 585 
Be Biblical Theology of Ministry. And here is the playlist of all the lectures. And they're all uploaded. Okay, so if you need that, you've also got that. You've got the PowerPoint, you've got the actual physical lecture. Obviously, there's a whole lot more in the lecture. Then, um, on top of all of that, we have the actual form. And let me find the form again. Here it is. And this form is what we're going to be filling out. Okay. So the first thing you do is put your name, Robert Wetmore. For most of this, I'm, um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to be um, writing, and I, I know you all know this language, although actually some of you, actually that's not really true because you really don't, you can understand the language that I'm going to be typing in. It's called professorese. Professorese, it's a universal language, actually. Uh, you don't actually learn to understand this language until you get your PhD. But you can understand enough of it with even just being an MPhil student, postgraduate student will help you understand most of it. So I don't think that should be a problem. So, that, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to just show you a little teeny bit of what you're going to need to do for this to fill in the form. So first of all, which chapter are you doing? Well, we're doing chapter one. So I choose chapter one, right? What's the chapter main subject? Main subject. Well, how am I going to figure that out? Well, I figure out the main subject of the chapter. I look over here. It's this lecture, it's this lecture, and it's this lecture. That's the main topic. So I just, I can look at the PowerPoints for that, no problem. And um, Zanaria also has something she wrote. And this is just going to be a hundred words or more, or at the minimum is a hundred words. So I'll just write this out. Okay. Um, now, obviously if this is not a hundred words, but I don't want to confuse anybody. So let's just make it a hundred words. Let me count it. That's 84, oh my word. That's the beauty of Professor E's because with Professor E's, even if I just copy it and, and, and just to multiply the things, Professor E's is so amazing that it comes out with exactly what I need to say. As you can see, as you read this, you can tell that I'm exactly the main subject of the chapter. Pretty awesome. Chapter title. <coughs> so the way you're gonna do that, you're gonna look at these, Three and you can say, well, "What's the real? What's the real title?" And of course, this is the title. Um, all right, now we have our first difficult question. We're looking at these three, and I hope you've already written this out. You might write it on paper. You might write all of the answers to this on paper, or you might write all of the answers of this on your computer. I hope it's all written out before you start this, but. You can do it this way. I think you, you, I don't think you lose it, even if there's a power outage, if you lose the internet for a day. I think as long as you don't close out of it, I think you can still continue to enter it. I'm pretty sure that's true because I've had lots of bad things happen and I still am able to enter it. If not, you should have it written down somewhere else and then copy it over. How many topics? Well, just looking at here, I guess probably... But this is for the whole chapter. How many main topics? Well, I guess about four. All right. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to write out the first topic, which is, of course, and this is because I carefully studied this first topic and, and I, I just, I know exactly what it is. So this is my first topic. You don't need to do that anyway, so let's just cut out some of those words. That's too many. Here's your topic, all right? So how many biblical principles are really dealing with this topic? Where, what do I mean by biblical principles? Well, I mean the principles, hopefully, by God's grace, I hope it's true, that what we've been learning in class are mostly biblical principles. And so what are we going to do? Well, we're going to go over here. And well, what biblical principles are here, here, and here? Well, how many are there? Um, 
And, okay, how many biblical principles are there? Well, I, I wrote down in my piece of paper in preparing for this, for doing this outline, I wrote down four. I think there are four biblical principles. I have a biblical principle. This person should not be calling me. It's a fake call. They're trying to sell me something. Um, all right. So here is topic one, biblical principle one. Okay. Now, what's topic one again? This is topic one here. So there are, I think there are four biblical principles that, that deal with this topic. And I got that from these lectures. That's where I got the topic from. That's where I found the biblical principles. They're all from these, these lectures. And I, I'm looking at those lectures by going online. And um, here they all are. And so I've looked at these lectures, one, two, and three. And those are the ones that have told me what my topic is. And those are also the ones, sorry. And those are also the ones that told me what the biblical principles are. So I'm going to say, well, you know what? I'm looking at those, everything I got from there. How many did Zanaria have? She has one biblical principle, two biblical principles, three biblical principles, four biblical principles, five biblical, six biblical principles. Wow. Six biblical principles. But wait a minute. Here's, here's a criticism. I understand why this section is here, but I think you could incorporate this goal into one of your other biblical principles. And wait a minute. You have too many biblical principles here, I think, under this topic. I almost put five. I can't put six because it only allows five as the maximum. I almost put five because... She had five, but now I realize that her professor said that's too many. So don't copy what she does. Look at what I say about what she does. So you know what? I'm looking at this. <coughs> and based upon this topic that I've written very carefully here, I guess there are four biblical principles Biblical number, biblical principle one is, of course, this. That's that one. What are the scriptures? Well, it's pretty obvious, I know. Romans 32, verse 5, comes to mind immediately. Third Corinthians, oh my word, third Corinthians 3.15, obviously, um, and I guess that's, I, well, and then let me look at the, let me look at the lectures again. What's it say? The, uh, the possible power. Let me look, let me look at the PowerPoint again. Oh my gosh. I almost forgot. The professor also talked about, um, really it's the whole chapter of, of third Timothy. So basically what I've got is those are, those are where, those are the scriptures that I need for the biblical principle. I don't even need to paste them. That's good enough. It's good enough. All right. So then, is this, what, 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 what is this PTA thing? Well, actually, the PTA, let's look at Zunaria's thing. So she has achieving. BP1, BP1 is biblical principle one, which on our paper, on the outline we're doing, biblical principle one was this, which obviously you can see how that would work. And so she has for her biblical principle one, one, two, three, four, five, six ways to achieve it. However, you can't have six. You can only have a maximum of five, minimum of three and maximum of five. So what this is, is look at the kinds of things, making the church as Paul teaches, how it should be establishing faithful church ministries, choosing 10 candidates for elders, 12 candidates for deacons, 
Um, well, wait a minute. Wait. Oh, my gosh. Look, I didn't even notice this. Look, Robert Wetmore, whoever on earth that is, said, I am not sure how this is a PTA, a plan for achieving, plan to achieve the biblical principle one. Oh, that shouldn't even be there. So you see what's going on? You need to use what the professor says. So don't just copy what she does because it may be that he's, the professor is not interested in it, okay? So just check that. And you don't want to copy what she says anyway because you need to do what you need to do. You need to figure it out for yourself, all right? So there you go. So I'm going to say three. And then the first, hmm, this is difficult. So topic one, biblical principle one, what's my plan to achieve? Well, oh, I know what. I, I, you know what? I need to look at that. Let me just look at that PowerPoint again. Where is that PowerPoint? Where is that thing? I just need to look at that PowerPoint one more time. Here it is. Yeah, I'm going to look at the PowerPoint this one we need to achieve this powerpoint we need to achieve what this is saying and so you know i know what this is the real point isn't it that's what we need to do that if we do that in the church you know i, I think it's going to take i think it's gonna take like four years even to start it yeah yeah and then oh wait a minute wait a minute Biblical principle, two, biblical principle one, and there's another thing we need to do. We need to do this for sure, right? Now, obviously, I mean, it's obvious that was, and, and you know, the more I think about it, I really think that this is, yeah, I'm a pretty fast typer. I, I agree. And Honestly, as you can see, the PTA, the plan to achieve the first one and the second one, the third one, you put those three together, look at those. Those are so good. I give you permission to translate this professorese into English, and I give you permission to use, just, you can just use these, but you have to translate it into English first. This is professorese. And since you're all scholars and you can all be professors, obviously you know what that says so i think three is enough i think that's about right okay this is what you're going to do through the whole assignment now you have a second biblical principle and the where i get that from i get that from this or this or this i get it from one of these three lectures because outline is yellow the next outline is green. The next outline is kind of a blue gray. The next outline is an orange. And the final one is this color, which turquoise, I guess. And so, okay, I okay, got that. And I understand that. So those are the papers. Those are the chapters. And so that's where I'm going to do my outlines. So, okay, I got the general idea. So what I'm going to do is just do this to the whole thing. I'm just going to do this to the whole thing. There's a lot. But the advantage is that this is going to keep it organized. Everybody's going to do the same thing. Nobody's going to lose points because they don't do the format right. Because I'm forcing you to do the format that I want. It'll make it much more fair as far as marking goes. And the thing that we really want is to understand and to think and to, you know, to, to figure out how this is going to work. That's what we want, right? And so this is a way that we'll all be not wasting our time and making sure the format's right. Instead, we'll be investing our time to understand the application of what we've been talking about, the meaning of it and the application. All right, so that's what I want you to do here. I think it's the wisest thing is having seen this video, you know, just click on it and take a look at it. I mean, go, when I'm, I'm seeing, click on this form, take a look at it. And once you've looked at it, say, okay, how would I do this what are going to be my main topics? 
All right, write it out. What are gonna be my biblical principles for each topic? Okay, write them out. Go back and check the PowerPoints. Go back and change the biblical principles to fit. And of course, you know, what scriptures are gonna do for each one of these principles? Write it out. And then say, and how am I gonna achieve, how am I going to achieve each one of these principles? Write it out, write it out ahead of time. Unless, if you were me, I would use this as sort of my guide to figure out what I'm going to write. Now, I've got a lot of criticisms here. So using scenarios as it's just kind of helping me to say, well, I don't know, is this, should I use it or not? So I have lots of comments. And if you're gonna, if you're going to use her to help you to figure out what you're doing, okay, you can do that. That's why I gave it to you. I wouldn't have given it to you otherwise. You can do that. But remember, when you do that, I have so many criticisms that you need to say, well, I'm not gonna say what she says. I just understand now the format and the way to do it. You're not gonna write anything that looks like, look, looks like what she wrote um, because you're doing that here, I'm doing that here. This is where, this is all I'm expecting from you until the final um, assignment. And the final assignment is a summary, a one page summary of what you're thinking, okay? And I just wanna point out something. This, which is going to be posted on Moodle before you get this video, this here tells you the first outline is due on Wednesday, 18 of um, August. And the next one is due on 24 of August. The next one is due on 30 of August. The next one is due on 2nd of September. The last outline is due on 7th of September. And the final outline is due, not outline, but the final summary is due on the 9th of September. That's it. That's your schedule. You say, well, how am I ever going to get all of this done? Just need to work hard. Yeah, so that's, that's the way it goes. So I will send this to you and um, I will upload the schedule onto Moodle. So it'll be there, so it'll be visible and you can see it, you can follow it. And I will send you the link and I will also um, put Zanaria's paper online so that you can access it that way. Okay. I hope this is going to work. I hope it's not going to be a burden. Learning can be a burden, though. So take care and God bless.